Hi guys, VST here, Valiant Six Tech, welcome back on my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you on my Samsung device how you can really activate a native FPS counter and also a task manager for your phone so that you can see the load you're putting on your CPU, which is kind of the central processing unit and also your GPU, which is the graphic processor unit. A while ago I did a video where I showed you how you can enable an indicator from the developer settings where you can really see the displayed refresh rate but that's not really good for games and I've gotten some hints from some of my users on my channels for my subscribers so I'm really thankful for that one but right now I think we found really a better solution so if you want to find out make sure you watch the full video and if you happen to like the videos that I do you might want to consider subscribing for my channel so let's start so let me just first start with developer settings so this is a Samsung phone, you go to the settings and I have here the developer options on the end. If you don't have developer options, what you need to do guys, you need to click about phone, then find the software information, then find the build number which is here and click it I think seven or eight times until you just get the message here which is developer options. Now when you have developer options, hit it, then you need to scroll down, there is a section called debugging, then you're gonna go to networking, which is this one. Then I think there is the one called the HD audio, right? Input, drawing. And then I think at some point, you're gonna get to a section called games. And this thing actually is called GPU watch. Get information about an application's CPU or GPU usage. So when you click it, you're gonna get presented with a sub menu. And apparently we can enable already GPU watch. And you're gonna see later what is gonna happen. But there's something that I wanna share with you guys. So there are three widgets, right? The FPS or the surface widgets shows the current average frame rate allocation and usage. Then you get another widget, the load widgets, and this shows how much load is put on your CPU, the central processor unit, and the GPU, your graphics processor unit. Last but not least, you get the context info, resolution, driver type, and AP name. And then you're gonna go to the general settings where you can apparently also change the polling interval, how quickly you wanna get the information to be refreshed, 250 milliseconds is the standard one. You can change also transparency and the grips. When I go out immediately, you're gonna see that I get now these three boxes here. The first box right now shows the current average frame rate, and as you can see, is 120 FPS per second, which is not bad. The CPU location, by the way, even for doing nothing, is almost between like 10 and 20%, but the GPU location is almost non existent. And then here we have the content info. Now, please know that actually you can click the information that is displayed below these buttons, right? So let's say if you wanna to go to the weather, I just can click it and it's gonna get open. So this is just like an overlay. And what I'm gonna do for the testing, I'm gonna go and open the Call of Duty, all right? So Call of Duty starting and going directly into the landscape mode. Just see the start. Average frame rate dropped to almost like two FPS, then go to 30 FPS, 50, 60 FPS, now in the context info we have the API which is OpenGL, we have the resolution 160 by 7220 and then we have the driver type okay and then also here you can apparently see the CPU get loaded almost like 80%, 90%, GPU still not so much loaded okay. Now what I'm gonna do guys tonight, right now I'm just going to enter a multiplayer game and we're gonna see really how this works in the in-game real experience. Okay, right now I am into the choosing menu. I still can see that the frame rate is like 30 FPS, right? So I'm just gonna start now a multiplayer game and let's see, I want to see, and I wanna see the in-game real FPS. All right, so let me just choose here. And uh, actually you see, now it's a bit better, right? It is above 60, which pretty much seems that actually the phone can maintain 60 FPS. See the CPU load is getting like almost like 50%, right? So it's actually quite, quite a lot, right? Oops. All right, and the GPU load, by the way, is, is not really heavily utilized. I think it's gonna get like 20, 90%, which means that apparently the phone can do much more, which is not bad at all, right? See what happens here. So 50% CPU load, and then we have another like 60%, oh my God, and I died. 50% CPU load, up to 20% GPU load, and the current average frame rate is actually really 60 FPS. We can see again here OpenGL, we can see the driver and the resolution, and actually this is pretty much what this widget can do. I wanted to see if this feature is also available on the OnePlus 8 Pro phone, and apparently it's not, so I thought in the beginning that only having Android 11 is enough, but apparently it's not, and I just was able to find it here on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, so if you do own a phone and you run the Android 11 on this and it's 
it's not the Samsung S20 or OnePlus 8 Pro. And if you test it and it confirms that this works, please let us know in the comment down below. I think this will be really helpful also for the other users. Now with that said guys, I really enjoyed if you have liked this video. And again, this here can be a very little helper. You can customize this, don't forget, you can also minimize a bit the widgets and uh, the size that they take on your screen. It's very handy and the best thing here is that you don't really require additional software. Right, it's all native inside your Samsung phone. Of course, this is running the One UI 3.0 beta. With that said, guys, I really hope that you have liked this video. Show me your questions into the comments down below. If you have any, don't forget to go into the Telegram where we have a chat and we do discuss a lot of interesting tech topics and not only, and we're gonna catch up in my next video. VST, over and bye.